Hi guys, it's, it's Sunday and uh, I'm on my way to a vigil today um, being held for or in solidarity with Iraq. You know what, it's really too bright. Let me get my glasses. Oh, that's better. Um, yeah guys, I'm on my way to Marble Arch to this solidarity vigil. Um, obviously it comes off the back of that devastating Baghdad bombing um, just in the last few days of Ramadan in um, Karada where I think now almost 300 people were killed, many of them women and children. It hit a shopping area where you know, people were doing their Eid shopping and obviously in the last few days there's been another um, deadly attack. Alright guys, so I've just um, arrived to Marble Arch at the vigil. It's about 4.30 so it's uh, the vigil's been going on for about an hour and a half already. There's a, uh, some speeches going on and uh, yeah, really strong crowd here as well. These kids of Karade, they were shopping on Eid. They were shopping to go have a nice time with their family on Eid. And this so-called ISIS, this so-called Islamic State, they came and had to ruin these people's days. They're here for one purpose, and that is to stand in solidarity with the victims of the Baghdad bombing. But what can we take away from this afternoon? Most of us here are youth. We must mobilize. We must find ways to stay active politically in our society to raise awareness of these issues. Iraq has faced this torment for countless years. There are middle-aged families who have not seen anything since birth except war and violence and aggression. Bloodshed is not normal to Iraq. It is normal to us all to witness this. In this year, my brothers and sisters, humanity is at a loss as Baghdad bleeds. 